In a bit of a surprise announcement, Knott's Berry Farm has announced the removal of Boomerang from the park. It'll be closing following the Boysenberry Festival, meaning that its last operating day will be by the end of April. Now, I mean, obviously there were some rumors going around that Knott's could be taking out Boomerang, but I think there were some of us that were surprised that it's happening so soon. Like, I definitely could have seen that announcement happening, like, in July or something, so that the coaster would be removed by August. But I think the reason why I was caught so off guard by this announcement was because they want to have this thing down by probably May. That would be my guess. So the fact that they want it down so early tells us that what is going to be replacing it is going to be big because they're going to have to start the land prep because I'm going to guess that this will be a 2018 edition. Whatever's replacing it is going to be big. It's going to be taking up this space and remember Riptide that was taken out and so that space is still available. And to my knowledge that restaurant in front of Boomerang has also been taken out. So when you look at it from an aerial perspective, now you have all of this land available. It's a narrow strip, but it's still enough space where you can put in a decent sized roller coaster. I'm not really going to make this too much of a speculation video just because this announcement came so suddenly. Obviously, people are talking about, okay, what's going to be replacing it? All I'm going to say is that I do think we are looking at a roller coaster, only because I think that this announcement and the removal happening so soon tells us a lot. If they're putting flat rides or kiddie rides in that spot, then they would have no issue closing it in August. It also just makes me think back to when they closed Riptide. I think that they closed it for a reason. I think when they closed it, they had this project in mind. Because if you remember, Knott's is a very landlocked park, so finding space for new attractions are very difficult. They really have to get creative. So taking out Boomerang, which has been there for a while, is kind of a very iconic attraction of the boardwalk. And I think I will kind of miss just how it looks. I mean, Boomerangs are never the greatest attractions. But it looked very nice in this section of the park, but I think by far the removal is going to be for the better. I'm very hopeful for what will be taking its place. But that does also lead to questions saying, okay, well, is this boomerang going to be fully removed or are they going to send it to another park? And this is one of those coasters that I think for sure they'll be sending it to another Cedar Fair Park. Which Cedar Fair Park? Well, the way I see it, we have two options. Michigan's Adventure, probably the most likely option. That's kind of the butt of Cedar Fair, and they always kind of get the crap hand-me-down additions. Their last major coaster was a used SLC. Cinema used Boomerang, why not? And then the other thing I could see is Valley Fair. I think Valley Fair definitely deserves better. I've always wanted to see a B&M there, but they don't have a Boomerang. I mean, I think it's very possible. But either way, I believe that they will be sending Boomerang to one of those two parks. We will just have to wait and see which one it ends up being. But anyways, I want to hear from you guys. What is your opinion on Knott's removing their Boomerang? Did the announcement surprise you? Are you going to miss it? And also, what park would you like to see receive Boomerang? I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a bit of my thoughts on this topic. I'll try and come out with a speculatory video once the Boomerang has been fully taken out and we start seeing some land prep. I mean, as soon as like the first footer starts going in, we'll know that for sure we're looking at a roller coaster. So I'll try and do something like that later this summer. But for now, I'll leave it at this. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to post all those thoughts in the comments section below, and I'll catch you guys later.